What's going on, guys? I know I'm already so I've thought of a prank. I'm gonna write a note, I'm putting it in someone's letterbox. I'm gonna write you one, one million pound. Ring this number. It's gonna be a prank. I'm gonna put a different number on. I'll put a number on for a shop. And I'm gonna post it, see what they say. Congratulations, you won one million pound. Ring that number, that's a shop number. Okay, so I'm outside. Now all I have to do is find the house. So let's go. Okay, so I posted it in and when they read it, they're gonna ring the shop and the shop's gonna say we didn't give that and hopefully I get away with it. <laughs> Okay, so Assalamu alaikum guys. So I've got a story about when I was scammed online for like three, four hundred pounds. So basically, I was working over the spring break, over my uni break in a, in a wallet in a car showroom in Bradford. I was cleaning the cars, brand new cars, used cars. They taught me the procedure. It was their equipment and I was just cleaning with the equipment. So I made about 400 pounds on the first week. First 10 days were unpaid to training. So I did two days training and then the next week I got paid. I only did 10 days. And then I was on break from uni and I had to reset a uni exam. So I can go on the second year. So they put me in a repeat year. So basically, uh, I was online on Instagram and this account followed me and it was like, give us £50, we'll give you a £1,000, give us £100, we will give you £2,000. So I accepted the offer like a normal, I thought I was investing, I tried with the account, it looked legit. The guy gives it, oh, we invest in four car apparel stations and whatnot. So I ended up sending like 50 quid away in for the thousand pound. So he, I was waiting, waiting, waiting and he gets it. Oh, we had a problem. So send another hundred pound. So I sent another hundred pound. He said, oh, we had another problem, send another hundred. So then like that, he made me go into overdraft. He made me take out an overdraft from my bank and send him money. When he got to like 300 pound, 400 pound, thought what the hell forget this this guy's a scum 
So I contacted my bank, contacted my police station and the money had gone. They couldn't recover my money so basically it was a scam on Instagram. It's money mule they call them. And uh, the police station said contact action fraud police. So I contacted the police, they couldn't get my money back. They just said how to be aware of the scams. I was like, why didn't you tell anyone first that scams going around? Now I've scammed. And now you're telling me how to keep away from scams. But then basically, because of the scam, it affected my mental health. And I couldn't take my uh, exam the following year. Because I was really down. And uh, I took the reset year. I hardly went in once for the exam. I went in for the other course, other, uh, other one. I went in for the other lecture. I did my assignment, but I didn't do the exam. I couldn't learn it. I was so vexed out. And uh, that person was scamming me. I found out it was a little kid with a fake account. When the money got transferred there, they actually cashed them out straight away. And ran off with the money on a different identity. And there was less money so the police couldn't do much about it because other people they get scammed like three thousand, four thousand pound, thirty thousand pound. So other people get scammed big. Because this was small amount and the guy cashed them on quick and I got to them late about it. They couldn't do much. Yes, yeah, so that's a little story time. So please be careful online when you send money to people you know you do not know. People asking for charity because they'll just come here. Honest, even you can't even send too much charity because if you have nothing for yourself, then you're just gonna be sad all the month. You know what I mean? Anyways, thanks.